Hey everyone, this is the Beard Zeno. This is going to be my review of the NECA Alien Series 4 Dallas figure. And this figure is pretty obviously just a repaint, just like the uh, Ripley was. And you know, of course, it's just a repaint of the K-Mold. But like I said, my Ripley review, it's a 100% necessary and called for repaint because all the suits were the same. I mean, they're all just the same except for painted differently. So, by film standards, this is 100% accurate, and there's really no reason to bitch some people out there on the internet. <laughs> I guarantee you somebody out there is bitching, Oh my gosh, this is a rebate. <laughs> yeah, anyways. Look at the head sculpt on this thing. This, that is very, very, very reminiscent of Tom Skerritt. Uh, pardon for my sniffle. It, uh... It's a damn good lightness. Of course, you know, taking away the hair is going to take away a lot from the lightness, especially, you know, being angry from the film. But when he's in his knit cap like this, this is 100% accurate. This looks great. Great likeness. The, uh, I have a bit of a defect on my spacesuit right here. There is a notch of plastic that doesn't allow it to go all the way down. But, you know, doesn't bother me. But if this was real life, Dallas would be dead right now. <laughs> Well, technically he dies anyway. Spoiler alert for a movie from 1979. But uh, his accessories are also kind of light. I guess the helmet you could count as an accessory. Uh, also, you get the same flashlight that you got with Kane right here, which fell out of his hand just a second ago. Uh, it's not painted as well as the one from Kane, but it could just be mine. You know, I'm pretty sure there are people who got some from the Kane. I uh, figure that wasn't paint nowhere near mine from Kane as well, so that's totally perfect. I mean, it's going to vary from person to person anyways. Paint always does. Uh, and the other accessory that he really comes with is the pistol, which I have in the holster, just like I have with the Kane one. I mean, this he actually does have a trigger finger, so he can hold the pistol, but he never does in the film, so I don't really see it. So I just kind of use it as his pointy hand, like, hey, look over there. <laughs> that's kind of the pose I got him in. But, just so you people out there want to know, this is the proper way to holster this pistol. That's the way it was done in the film. That's the way it's done with the Hot Toys. That's the way it's from the production stills. This is the proper way to holster this pistol. Like this. Study it. And there you go. That's, that's the proper way to holster it. You have to stretch this little piece out a little bit to get it in the holster, but that's just the way it's supposed to be. So don't worry. It may feel like you're going to break it. If you're careful, you probably won't. Uh, this flashlight really does like to... Let's go ahead and hold it cockeyed like that. There we go. He's like, ooh, look over there! Articulation is the exact same as the cane figure. Very limited. And I've seen a few comments from people across the internet saying like, Oh god, this is one of the most worst articulated figures Nick has made since they've had the new articulation. It barely moves. It's a fucking space suit! You're not going to have a guy in a spacesuit with Spider-Man level of articulation. That's just not going to fucking happen, people. <laughs> Think for a second. They couldn't move in these suits in the movie. So, I mean, I don't see why it's a big deal. It was like, well, it's an action figure. We want to get realistic poses. Realistic poses. This is You're going to get realistic poses out of this because it's a fucking spacesuit. Okay, and rant. <laughs> but, uh, this, uh... The detail on this is great. I love that they've got the accurate pink to Dallas. Now, if only we can get a Lambert, which, I mean, that's easy. We just need a head sculpt for Lambert, but Veronica Cartwright does want to go for likeness. So, you know, there you go. there's a good screenshot right there. If you want to cap that and make that your wallpaper, go ahead. I don't care. <laughs> but, yeah, this, uh, overall, I'm really happy with this figure. I just wish we could get a, a Dallas in his jumpsuit. Maybe somewhere down the line, because, you know, obviously they, they do have his likeness, and that'd be great to have a, another jumpsuit character to go with Ripley. But, you know, I doubt it, because it's going to be a lot of tooling. And a lot. So basically, it's probably going to be if they can get use out of the mold a couple times, so... I think there's a few characters in Alien Isolation that have a similar jumpsuit to Dallas. So hopefully if the Alien Isolation line sells when that comes out, we'll get more figures from that, and maybe that'll spur like, hey, we can make a Dallas and reuse the parts for this character from Alien Isolation, and there we go. 
So hopefully that happens. Hopefully. I'm not, I'm not, gonna, I'm not too hopeful, but, you know, there's always, there's always hope. Because that's how we got the, uh, the Amanda, because they're using a lot of parts from Ripley in that. So, which I'll actually, uh, I was part of that conversation on Twitter. I'm like, yeah, you know, it's basically the same junk suit. You just have to change, like, the patches on the arms and a little bit of the upper chest. <laughs> and, of course, you know, also told them the, uh, the space suit would be an easy repaint, because all you gotta do is just pop a new head in and just paint it yellow. So, yeah, we're gonna see this mold one more time, at least. So, I guess you could say I'm kind of partially, uh, responsible for that. <laughs> I definitely wasn't one of the first people who brought that up, but, uh, I'm not bragging or anything, I'm just, eh, whatever, got the topic. Yeah, this, uh, this is a great figure based on this best way you could have any space suit. Anybody who bitches about the other articulation is just bitching to bitch, pretty much. This is a great figure for Alien fans to have, and... Especially if you have the Kane figure, I highly recommend you get it. Or if you're just a fan of Dallas, pick it up as well. But it does look very well displayed beside the Ripley spacesuit and the Kane. So, I'd say yeah, pick this guy up. And just for good old test for the stand. Because I always keep one of these handy. Sorry for the burp. There we go. And, yeah. Not that he needs one of these, but, you know, it fits. God, that actually looks really nice. That is a really nice pose. <laughs> I like that. I like that a lot. Yeah, just like I like this figure a lot. I highly recommend you pick it up, especially if you're really collecting this wave, if you're deep dived into it like I am. You should probably already have this in your collection. Anyways, I've been to Brazil for Clicky Phoenix Entertainment. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave them in the comments down below. And I'll see you in the next video.